Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, nanoparticle-based vaccines. In recent years, these cutting-edge vaccines have shown immense potential in revolutionizing the field of immunization. So, let's dive right into it and explore the world of nanoparticle-based vaccines. What is nanoparticle? Nanoparticles are extremely small particles, typically measuring less than 100 nanometers in size. They can be made from various materials, such as metals, polymers, or lipids. Due to their tiny size, nanoparticles exhibit unique properties and behaviors that differ from bulk materials. They have a wide range of applications in fields such as medicine, electronics, environmental science, and materials science. In medicine, nanoparticles are utilized in drug delivery systems, imaging techniques, and vaccine development, among other applications. What is nanoparticle-based vaccine? Nanoparticle-based vaccines utilize tiny particles called nanoparticles as delivery vehicles to transport antigens or vaccine components into the body. These nanoparticles can protect vaccine components, mimic viruses or bacteria, and enhance the immune response. Liposomes and virus-like particles VLPs, are examples of nanoparticles commonly used in vaccine development. By leveraging the unique properties of nanoparticles, these vaccines aim to improve vaccine stability, efficacy, and targeted immune response activation, potentially leading to more effective immunization strategies against various diseases. What are the types of nanoparticles used in vaccine production? There are various types of nanoparticles used in vaccine production. Some of the commonly employed nanoparticles include Liposomes. Liposomes are lipid-based nanoparticles composed of a lipid bilayer structure. They can encapsulate antigens or vaccine components within their aqueous core or lipid membrane. Liposomes are versatile and can be modified to enhance stability, promote targeted delivery, and control antigen release. Virus-like particles VLPs, VLPs are nanoparticles that mimic the structure and characteristics of viruses but lack the viral genetic material required for replication. VLPs can display viral antigens on their surface, stimulating an immune response without causing infection. They are often used in vaccines against viral diseases such as HPV, hepatitis B, and influenza. Nanoparticles with polymeric cores. These nanoparticles have a polymeric core, which can be made of materials like polystyrene, poly, lactic co-glycolic acid, PLGA, or polyethylene glycol, PEG. These cores can be loaded with antigens and coated with additional materials to enhance stability, targeting, and immune response. Inorganic nanoparticles. Inorganic nanoparticles, such as gold nanoparticles or quantum dots, have unique physiochemical properties that make them useful in vaccine development. They can be functionalized with antigens, adjuvants, or targeting ligands to improve vaccine efficacy and immune response. Protein-based nanoparticles. Protein-based nanoparticles are formed by self-assembling proteins into nanoscale structures. They can be engineered to present antigens or vaccine components, and their size and surface characteristics can be controlled for optimal immune system recognition and response. It's important to note that the choice of nanoparticles depends on the specific vaccine formulation, the desired immune response, and the target disease. Researchers continue to explore and develop new types of nanoparticles to advance vaccine technologies further. What is the purpose of nanoparticle-based vaccines? The purpose of nanoparticle-based vaccines is to improve vaccine effectiveness and enhance the immune response. Here are some key purposes and advantages of using nanoparticle-based vaccines. Enhanced vaccine stability. Nanoparticles can protect vaccine components, such as antigens or genetic material, from degradation by enzymes or harsh conditions. This improved stability ensures that the vaccine remains effective during storage and transportation. Controlled release. Nanoparticles can be engineered to release vaccine components in a controlled manner, prolonging their presence in the body and optimizing the immune response. This controlled release can result in a more sustained and robust immune reaction. Targeted delivery. Nanoparticles can be designed to specifically target certain cells, tissues, or organs. By delivering the vaccine components directly to the desired site, nanoparticle-based vaccines can improve the efficiency of antigen uptake and enhance the immune response in specific areas. Adjuvant properties. Some nanoparticles possess inherent adjuvant properties, meaning they can enhance the immune response by promoting antigen presentation and activating immune cells. This can lead to a stronger and more long-lasting immune reaction. Mimicking pathogens. Nanoparticles can be engineered to mimic the characteristics of viruses or bacteria, 
such as their size, shape, or surface proteins. This mimicry helps elicit a more potent immune response, as the immune system recognizes these nanoparticles as potential threats and mounts a robust defense. Multivalent Presentation Nanoparticles provide a platform for the presentation of multiple antigens or vaccine components simultaneously. This multivalent presentation can broaden the immune response and improve the vaccine's ability to target multiple strains or variants of a pathogen. Combination with other therapies, nanoparticles can be used not only as vaccine delivery systems but also as carriers for other therapeutic agents, such as drugs or immunomodulators. This combination approach allows for synergistic effects and potential therapeutic advancements. What are the examples of nanoparticle-based vaccines? Here are some examples of nanoparticle-based vaccines that have shown promise. Human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccine. The HPV vaccine utilizes virus-like particles, VLPs, composed of recombinant viral proteins to train the immune system to recognize and protect against HPV infections, which can lead to cervical and other types of cancer. COVID-19 vaccines. Several COVID-19 vaccines employ lipid nanoparticles to deliver messenger RNA, mRNA, into cells. These mRNA vaccines, such as the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines, encode the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, enabling the body to produce the spike protein and mount an immune response against it. Influenza vaccine. Some influenza vaccines utilize nanoparticles, such as liposomes or protein-based nanoparticles, to deliver multiple strains of influenza antigens. These nanoparticle-based vaccines can enhance the immune response and potentially provide broader protection against different influenza strains. Malaria vaccine. Nanoparticle-based malaria vaccines are being developed to combat the deadly malaria parasite. These vaccines use nanoparticles loaded with malaria antigens to stimulate an immune response and provide protection against the parasite. Tuberculosis TB, vaccine. Nanoparticle-based TB vaccines are being explored as a potential solution to combat tuberculosis. These vaccines employ liposomes or other nanoparticles to deliver TB antigens, with the aim of eliciting a stronger immune response and improving vaccine efficacy. Cancer vaccines. Nanoparticle-based cancer vaccines are being investigated to stimulate an immune response against cancer cells. These vaccines can utilize various nanoparticles, such as liposomes or protein-based nanoparticles, loaded with tumor-associated antigens or tumor-specific neoantigens to trigger an immune reaction against cancer cells. These examples highlight the diverse applications of nanoparticle-based vaccines in combating infectious diseases, preventing cancer, and addressing global health challenges. It's important to note that while these vaccines are promising, they may still be under development, undergoing clinical trials, or awaiting regulatory approval. Conclusion. Nanoparticle-based vaccines represent an exciting and innovative approach to revolutionize immunization strategies. These vaccines harness the unique properties of nanoparticles to enhance vaccine stability, target delivery, and stimulate a more robust immune response. However, Further research, clinical trials, and regulatory evaluations are essential to ensure their safety, efficacy, and broader implementation. With continued advancements in nanoparticle technology, nanoparticle-based vaccines hold great promise for the future of immunization, paving the way for more targeted, effective, and personalized approaches to protect global health. That brings us to the end of today's video on nanoparticle-based vaccines. We hope you enjoyed this fascinating journey into the world of nanotechnology and vaccines. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting scientific content. As always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.